Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I thought I would show you the Flourished Bordered Lines. This is a new stamp in my shop. It's a two-part stamp, so there is a frame as well as the lines. And first thing you need to do when you get a cling stamp is we're going to remove the paper backing. So you just kind of grab one of those corners and peel it away. And I'll grab the other and peel it away. Now, what I like about this stamp is that you'll be able to use these together or independently, but we need to get it started. So we're going to put it down on our acrylic block. And a stamp needs to be conditioned a little bit. If you've ever got a stamp and then you went to stamp directly on your project and it didn't work, well, it needs to be conditioned. So what we're going to do is grab some ink and we're going to ink up the stamp and we're going to stamp it a few times. So we're just going to keep inking it up looking at it and then I'm going to stamp it and I'm just going to keep doing that a couple of times until I get a really good impression okay I'm seeing that I'm getting a little bit of a line from this part of the stamp so I'm just going to pop it back out and I will trim my stamps don't be afraid to do that the thing that you need to know is you don't want to trim too close to the raised portion that's going to be stamping. You can trim away the rest of it if you want, and you want to do it at an angle. So I'm going to do it where the scissors are pointed this way so that the base is wider and it gets narrow as it comes to the top. So I'm just going to come in here and trim off this little corner. Okay, so what was happening was, is when I put the stamp down, it was catching on the frame, so it was raised up a little bit. So I was able to come in here and just really push it down, and that works. Okay, so now we've got this stamp, and I've also stamped it out a few times. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to come in here and grab one of these and cut it out. I have these book pages from a manual from when I was an insurance agent. So they come in handy for projects like this. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna trim just the inside portion. I wanna leave the frame. So I'll just kinda of take my scissors and come in here and I'll trim where the lines are basically. And then on the back side, I'm going to grab the best glue ever by Scrap Perfect. And I'm going to put a few little dots on it. I'm making a mask. What will happen is this will be tacky here in a couple of minutes. The glue will dry clear and it'll act like a sticky note. So we're going to use this in a moment. But I wanted to show you the process of how to create a mask. So I'm just going to set this aside to dry and we're going to move on for right now. All right, so I've got the frame and I want to make a journal card. So I've got a piece of cardstock here that's yellow. We're going to ink up the stamp and we're going to stamp it right in the middle. So now I have this little journal card that I made and I can go ahead and do something like trim the corners with my crocodile corner chomper and then let's apply some distress ink and then we've got a cute little card we can add additional embellishments so maybe if you've got some digital images like i've got this little flower if you wanted to pop that in the corner you could you can add all kinds of other stuff to it so i'm gonna set this aside for a moment this time i've got a long skinny card and what I'm going to do is pull out the lined portion and set that aside for a moment. I'm going to ink up the frame and rotate my card so it's easier for me to maneuver around. I'm going to put that, I'll kind of come to one side because I plan on uh, either I may put a saying up here or I may trim it off. So now we're going to come back to our little frame that we made earlier, our mask, and it's tacky now. See how it's sticking to my finger? And I don't want it to stick to the paper and adhere, so I will take it and do something like this. Stick it to uh, my clothing to kind of get a little bit of lint on it, maybe my shirt, just a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is line this up, and it helps if you use thin paper because you can kind of see through it. And I should have left some over on this side, but we're gonna cheat. So 
I'm going to take this piece of paper. I should have left the mask a little bit wider for what I'm doing. So now I'm going to grab a block. I'm going to put the lines on here. I'm going to ink up the line stamp and we're going to stamp across. So I'm just going to look at it and see how far I need to be. And then when I remove the mask, I now have a journal card with lines going in the other direction. Isn't that cool? That was my thoughts and my ideas of reason why I made this particular stamp. All right, so I'm going to round the corners. And I happen to have something that I made earlier. Let me see if it's going to work. So this I made earlier. This is Live Your Best Life. It's another little rubber stamp. I stamped it on a scrap of book page that I had cut off the edge. And then I glued it to a piece of fabric. And I thought that would be kind of cute to put across the top there. Like so. And then we'll add some Distress Ink. And now we have two little journal cards that we made using the same rubber stamp. And there's other ideas as well. You can use the journal lines by themselves and stamp them onto a blank paper. Just whatever you need to get some more writing space. Well, I hope those are some cute little ideas that you can use when you're creating in your junk journals. Do check out my Facebook group, The Friendly Junk Journal People, as well as by Linda Israel. And if you're interested in this stamp, check the links in the description box below, lindaisrael.com. Com. What else? Oh, I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. Love to have you come hang out with me and see how I make a journal live on YouTube. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.